What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 34 of my Championship Manager 97-98 series with Valencia Club de Football and as we enter our third season, we didn't start the season ideally at all. We failed to pick up any wins, absolutely failed. Especially in the last game, we managed to get a lead by halftime, uh, 2-0, and then they just pack us back uh, late in the game, very late in the game. And especially because uh, I put on Kamarasa because Pates didn't do very well and we were conceding one goal. And then he got injured after 8 minutes on the field. And Hayden Storm had to be an emergency center back and unsurprisingly, I think it was a mistake by our player as well in the end that we considered. The, the equalizer so we didn't start very well at all and we are trailing 1-2 against Sporting Gion a 10-man Sporting Gion at that and we managed to lose the game again because of a mistake Mendieta uh, scoring own goal I think at Siberia making a mistake or somebody making a loose pass or some bullshit and then uh, they just scored the winner so now we have to take it back uh, at, at home Against them, we have to win 1-0 at least, but we must not concede, but I know it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult. We are going to face off against Sporting Gion and then Las Palmas, another promoter team, and then Racing Santander, another promoter team. But last season, they knocked us out very early in the Copa del Rey. So, another difficult, difficult uh, game, a series of games. And El Clasico already happening with Barcelona taking the win, 2-0 win against Real Madrid. Okay, uh, that's good that Klaus uh, is going on loan. Hopefully, uh, the deal will be happening. Okay, so, yeah. But we didn't get the national team job because, yeah, we are not good enough, obviously. But we'll try to apply for the England one right now, as unlikely as it is. It's the pinnacle of the... I mean, you can't even start off the game as a national team manager in this game. Unless you go with, like, uh, like you name your manager with the name of the, uh, the current manager or some bullshit like that. Like, for example, the manager at the start is Glenn Hoddle and you name yourself Glenn Hoddle. And now you can manage England or something crazy like that. But... Otherwise, you have to like win everything, win Champions League, win the treble, win everything, and then, uh, and then hopefully they will take you in. Hopefully, yeah, not really, nothing to do with us. Champions League, we are not even in the Champions League. I don't know why they announce it. Usually they don't though, but we definitely don't have any European games, so I don't know why. But this is time to make amends and Klaus is already on loan. We'll, we'll keep on uh, monitoring his performance. I don't know how loans work in this game. I think, I think they will be on loan forever un unless we recall them. Is it? I don't even know. I don't even know because at the moment we can't do anything at all. So I don't know how it, how it works. I don't know how it works with the loan, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we have to take this back. And playing Hughes, maybe he's unhappy, he'll be fired up. Uh, probably it's best if I put Morigi on the bench. Just in case. Uh, but it's already four guys. Uh, probably I'll go with Leung. Even though he wastes a lot of chances, but well, okay. Uh, Marcelinho, okay. Mark Emmers has a 20 influence, so maybe he's a captain. Alright, so let's take this back, boys. Let's take this back from Sporting Gion. Come on, Bakayoko, making use of their mistake. But we must not concede, because otherwise it will be away goals and all the, the bullshit stuff. So yeah, we have to really see them off. We have to really see them off in this game. Come on, Bakayoko. Uh, come on. Again, super keeper syndrome. Super keeper. And I think Marcelinho hammered it from a distance. Emmers actually the captain of the day. Come on. 
see them off guys see them off see them off convincingly and let's start the season proper let's start the season proper right now Marcelinho coming back from horrible spells of injuries again see them off see them off see them off take it take it show them show them what we are made of show them what we are made of with Marcelinho oh terrible mistake by somebody but luckily we didn't concede and by half time we lead with 5 nil. can we keep up usually teams slow down we, we slow down in this game when you are leading by this much yeah yep 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 would be nice if we can keep a clean sheet uh, unfortunately that's not the case unfortunately it's not the case i was about to make subs and all that but the game won't allow me it keeps on going and going and then by the time it's just yeah uh yeah let's give leung a game uh game time because galvez is i mean he wants out of the team i know and he's not performing maybe if leung can score uh it will do him well in terms of uh confidence but apparently not and we've we, not only we failed to score in the half time uh in the second half but we concede but who cares we proceed on to we progress to the copa del rey second round so that's all that matters out of this game that's all that matters and hopefully this will be the catalyst that starts our season proper Atletico Madrid B 60 wow I just noticed and we'll play uh Levante oh there will be a der derby derby match wow derby match in the C <sighs> wants to move to a bigger club I mean if you if you don't perform how can we be a bigger club we we, we are shrinking to be a smaller club if you if you guys are not performing it's up to the players man it's not up to to me and look at this it 16 2 aggregate and then espanol b 16 nil oh wow the b team the b team is really flipping things around in, wow that is insane that is actually insane guys but yeah uh just take note of that because later on i want to make some screenshots because in the social media on twitter and all that people don't watch videos uh that's the bad thing so uh so i have to make screenshots to show them and to gain followers there and all those things espanol and madrid uh copa rey okay just make a rough note somewhere and then Las Palmas, can we continue our blistering run to start our season properly? And yeah, Galvez hasn't has even scored in four games, so maybe if I don't know, I I don't even know if it's wise to sell him at this point though. I don't even know. It might be wise to sell him, in all honesty. So yeah, let's see. Uh, Morigi, uh, maybe play Juan Fran again. Uh, Claudio Lopez this time, Galvez, Bakayoko, and Fernando. Lucic and Camarasa is so in some bad, bad fitness. Okay, Zivkovic and Lucic for this game. Let's go. Just want to make sure that our back line is fit, that's all. Hopefully it doesn't bite us in the butt. Come on, we performed really well in the cup. So let's turn this into a good performance in the league as well. We need to step up in the league. Ah. Uh, come on, make, make use of our chances just like what we did just now. Uh, I, I, I really... Yeah, when 
before it's confirmed, you should, I don't want to celebrate because it's like this allowed. So this game has VAR before it was cool. It, this game has the VAR before it was cool and Galvez opening his account alongside Ortega for the season. Okay, don't stuff this up, lads. Don't stuff this up. Keep going. Yeah, they are going for it. They've just gone more attacking. Come on. Collect goals, dot cards, Bakayoko. Ah, come on. Ortega. Galvez. Ortega. Shift the crossbar. Galvez! I said I want to sell him, and now look what happens. Oh, it's a good job. Oh, Unai Emery plays for Las Palmas. Unai Emery, the current uh, Arsenal manager. And we can't keep a clean sheet to save our lives, unfortunately. Come on. Pressure. Uh, we can't even keep a clean sheet to save our life, unfortunately. Uh, Zivkovic not doing well, but... I think I'll just keep him up. Claudio Lopez for Bakayoko. And then Fernando for Marcelinho, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, if we stuff this up, I will be really sad. I will be extremely sad if we stuff this up. I'm, I will be extremely sad. I will be extremely sad. Come on, Galvez, finish them off. Finish them off, Galvez with a hat trick. Wow, that was unnecessary to concede that second goal, but we managed to see them off finally. Wow, they dominated. They dominated, and Unai Emery playing well. He's quite good. His stats and Galvez opening his account, but. Conceding the two goals, uh, that was uncalled for. That was uncalled for, guys. But we managed to see them off 4-2 to get our first win in the league as well. Uh, that is cool. That is cool, I guess. Liverpool against losing. Uh, Atletico Madrid winning again and Barcelona dropping points. So now uh, Atletico Madrid dominating and... Real Madrid have lost two games already. Wow, Real Madrid, calm down. But they lost against Atletico Madrid and Barcelona, though. So, yeah, it's not crisis yet for them. Oh, England has appointed Fabio Capello, just like in real life. Interesting. Better take note of that. And for the last game of this episode, we're going to play... Uh, Racing Santander. And then we'll end the episode and move on to episode 35. But for the Derby, Derby and Real Madrid. Wow. Big episode. Next episode will be a big one. And before the next match, there will be a lengthy uh, international break. So, so far it's been rough, but I already saw it like this season. Well, wow, Betis, everyone is wants to sign Thomas Graveson. The thing is, I already know that, okay, they're still delighted. That's a good thing. Uh, the thing is, this season and the next probably, like at least until season 5, it will be a rebuilding season until the kids that I sign. Uh, wow, Segunda and Primera, all Atletico Madrid. Look at that. But for the manager of the month. Uh, but the thing is, I already foresaw it, like the season will be for rebuilding. Because let's face it, I just signed a bunch of players, uh, young players, and Liverpool again facing a shock defeat. At this rate, whoa, and AC Milan as well. At this rate, probably Liverpool might also sack their manager at one point. Yeah, not yet, not insecure or anything yet. I don't know how people like bring Doncasters, Doncaster Rovers uh, from Division 3 to the Champions League final and they're winning the Champions League in five seasons. I don't know how. Like here I am managing Valencia three seasons in, in it's like a rebuilding show. It's a rebuilding season. So 
I really have no idea how people do it. I don't know how people do it. Yeah, seriously. Uh, winning the Champions League with Division 3 team in 5 seasons, I have no idea how you guys do it. But I can't do it, as evident in this series. Like, we are 34 episodes in so far, and all I have to show is nothing. Only two Manager of the Month awards for me, but for the team is nothing, no medals, zero. So, <laughs> and it's still a rebuilding. I, I see a rebuilding seasons all the way until season six, season seven, I don't know. Probably until that long, until the kids mature and I sign more kids and things like that. Uh, I don't want to sell him to... Probably I could have sold him to Atletico Madrid Angulo. I could have. But I don't feel like selling it to league rivals. That's the thing. But probably I will have to. I will have to at some point. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But... Yeah. Probably I could have sold him though, because Angulo didn't do, he didn't do anything much last season. Probably I should have sold him and then try to sign somebody, but at this moment, I don't know who I could sign. I, yeah, I think, I don't think I, I should sign anybody. Yeah. Probably I, I could have sold him. Yeah, let's see if Atletico Madrid come back for an offer or somebody else. And we are going to face off against Racing Santander away from home. I would say that back to Kamarasa and Lukic. And then Rincon could play everywhere. So let's put him on the bench. Yeah, let's just not disrupt the, the team composition and go with this okay we need to continue on with the results we need to continue with the results and we need a revenge as well because they knock us out from the cup that's what we need to do that's what we really really need to do fortunately they are on the attack They are on the attack, just like the cup game, just like the cup game, and they are taking the lead. I mean, if against the Racing Santanders, against the Legronaises, all those things, we can't even win. So, I, I know for sure that this season is uh, definitely a rebuilding season. For sure, and a tough one at that. And Ortega equalizing, which is nice. But I already know that at least the next few seasons will be rebuilding seasons. And it's no doubt about it. But come on. Come on. Come on. I I'm trying to stop the game for subs and all that. Uh, Rincon. And the captain is Ortega. Easy. Claudio Lopez. Yep. Ah, uh, it's not doing, not going well. Not going well. Come on, Galvez. Saved by the goalkeeper. Ah, uh, and they, they, they scored. So, uh, our defense is terrible and I thought that signing at Siberia it will be helpful for us but evidently it's not it's not at all okay we equalized but conceding conceding the goals yeah it was really bad come on come on guys come on Oh, last minute chance is for them, not for us. And it's 2-2. Two, 2-all, two. Uh, two not good enough. Not good enough. Against Racing Santander, not good enough. But uh, it's going to be a 
tough season. And I signed kids, uh, good kids, don't get me wrong, but too bad, just too damn bad that they need a couple of seasons to perform. They need a couple, and Barcelona is in trouble. 2 nil defeat, shock defeat, so we are not the only ones uh, getting shock results, thankfully. And even Atletico Madrid losing, oh, Real Sociedad is like with Dida. Dida is really good. This guy made a difference for them. So Real Sociedad and Espanol, uh, yeah, comfortable at the top. And Real Madrid, look at where they are, but they haven't played, they have one game in hand. And Barcelona facing a shock defeat. So, yeah. So that's the end of episode 34, I believe, yeah, 34. And it's still not good enough. We got two convincing wins at home in the cup and in the league, but uh, I mean, at least we are unbeaten, but still uh, losing two more points against Racing Sun Thunder, that's not what we want. And we are seven, we are still unbeaten in the league, which is amazing. Uh, but we, we are drawing too many games. We are drawing too many games and we do not want that. I signed center backs, but the thing is, like I said, they are kids and they need time to develop. And I don't have that time. I don't have that time to wait for them. That's the thing. And next is the Valencia Derby against Levante. First leg of the Copa del Rey second round and then against Kevin Keegan's Valladolid in just two days time. So we really have to manage our squad really well for that. And then after that is a date away from home against Real Madrid. Very, very scary. But yeah, that's what we have to face. So thank you so much for watching guys. The episode's gone really, really fast. So hopefully we can really pick us ourselves up. Uh, and the kids really will mature as fast as they could because really seriously uh, this is worrying at this moment I'm really a little bit concerned and worried but uh, I, I believe I believe in our team I believe in our team despite everything I believe in our team and uh, hopefully we can take off soon yeah I think that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and please keep, keep, leave a like, comment and all those things. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So hopefully we can start rebuilding this season and have a nice day.